hopefully you're coming over from part one and I didn't freak you out or lose myself on part one so bad that you gave up on me. So if you're here, thanks. Again, uh, AP Calculus, AP Optimization, basic problems, um, something you could see on multiple choice but not as likely to see on free response, but I think it helps us to see where we're going. So we're asked to find two positive numbers such that the product of those two numbers is 192, and the sum of the first plus three times the second is a minimum. Key stuff here, and it's going to work out um, for all optimization problems, is that you're going to end up with a, secondary, a primary and secondary equation. Whichever thing you're asked to optimize, whichever thing you're asked to find the minimum or the maximum of, that's your primary equation, and you're going to take your secondary equation and solve it in terms of one variable and plug it back into the primary equation. So let's see if we agree with what this would look like. We know that the product of the two numbers would be the number x times the number y, and they would equal 192, and we're going to follow the conditions that were given to us in the beginning, right? The next thing that we know is that the sum of the numbers is going to be x plus 3 times the value of y, and we know that's going to be a minimum. And the reason I'm writing that is because this is uh, which equation, would you say? Right. So moving on, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this equation in terms of one of the variables, because what I'd like very much to do is substitute. So I think what I'm going to do is this going to solve in terms of y. So if I solve this one in terms of y, I would get I would get x is equal to well, I'm going to sorry, I'm going to solve this one here. x is equal to 192 over y, right? Cuz this is our secondary equation. I almost screwed that up. So hopefully you agree. So that's what I'm going to do here is this is x. I'll take this x out and I'll replace them. And if I hope that we're in agreement that if this is x, then x is this. So x is 192 over y plus 3y, right? Next thing I'm going to do is differentiate. I'm going to take the derivative of s in terms of, in terms of y here. So I think you'll agree that the, the derivative here of s in terms of y, well, it's not an a, it's a y, uh, would be negative 192 over y squared. How did I do that? Remember, I broke this piece out, and I brought this thing up as y to the negative first power, right? So I saw it like this, 192 y to the negative 1. Negative 1 times 192 is negative 192 y, and then I decremented here, and that gave us negative to the negative second power, and I put it back down. I hope that's okay. And then the derivative of 3y is just 3. Of course, now we're looking for a critical value. So we're going to set that thing equal to 0, looking for a critical value here. So hopefully you're with me on this, looking for this critical value. I find the critical value, get 192y squared, I'm sorry, over y squared is equal to 3. I'm going to cross multiply and get 3y squared is equal to 192 get uh, y squared is equal to 64. Hopefully you're with me here. y is equal to 8. Okay, just doing algebra here. If you don't mind, when I go back up here, I am going to do that. If this, if y is 8, then this had to be 24, I think. Isn't that right? 24? It has to be 24 here. So I'm going to test that, right? 8 times 24 is this 192. I'm hoping like hell, right? So that would give us the point 24, 8. Just looking at that for a second, because I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to take the second derivative here. Right, Found the critical value. This is our critical value. Is y is 8. Going to keep going here. It's the y value of our critical value, isn't it? We're going to take the second derivative, so second derivative of, of the sum with regard to y, and that is equal to 2 is 384, so 384 over y cubed. What did I do? I did the same thing here. I brought this out as 192y to the negative second power. Multiply this times this. Oh, sorry, this was a negative here, wasn't it? Oh, sorry. Took the derivative from up here. Right? I took the derivative up here. So I did that math that I showed you, decremented here. 
Got that. So far, so good. And then all I'm going to do is evaluate this. Evaluate at y equals 8. And we'll see that when y equals 8, that, three, that 300 over this is greater than 0. So, and we know this is, right, this is f double prime, and we know that if f double prime, that's our critical value, is greater than 0, we have a minimum. And we do. It's a minimum. So we have a minimum at the point at x equals 24, y equals 8. And that's where I got all that. All right? So just to recap, if you don't mind, if you're still with me, um, to recap here, what I do here is this. Just simply try to figure out which equation is primary, which equation is primary, which is secondary. The primary one is the one that your author will tell you that he or she is trying to optimize to either get a minimum or a maximum value for. I solve one equation in terms of one variable, plugging it back in, substituting it in. Taking the first derivative, looking for a critical value by setting that equation equal to zero and moving from there. All right, looking forward to hearing from you.